All right, I brought you back into the um, studio here at the house where I work on my videos, and I've already taken the videos that um, I recorded at Booker T. Washington State Park, and I've brought them into DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you just a couple of things to show you around DaVinci Resolve so you kind of know where I'm working. So I'm just going to bring in, like, here is a clip. This is the first clip that I recorded. You can't see it because this little red line is not over it. But if I come over it, you can see where it is. So I'm just going to put this at the beginning of the timeline. Now, if I bring in a second clip, they will run side by side. And you can see they'll just go from one to the other. But clips are layered. So if I were to put a clip on top of another clip, it only shows what's on top. And the transition will take place there. Now, with this particular setup, I know that these first clips that I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the audio. I know that. If I hold the, I'm on a Mac, so if I hold the Option key down and I pull this in, now you can see, if, again, if I pull it in like this, just regular, that green bar underneath is the audio. If I hold the Option key down, I can pull the video in without the audio. So I'm going to pull those in and I'm just going to... Um, pull two or three in here up front. I'm not going to take you through the entire process, but I'll take you through pieces of it. So with this, I know that, for instance, I don't want this to last more than just a couple of seconds. And so that's about four seconds. And I'm just going to pull this clip over to that red line. It will automatically start again. I'm going to pull this clip over to that red line. And these are just sort of preliminary places to hold them. Now here, you can see that it's not quite level. That was on purpose. And if I go up here to the what they call the inspector, you'll see that I have a rotation angle. And I can sort of rotate that image to where it's closer to level. But you see I've lost some of the video here in the corners. So I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit and I'm going to continue to crop that around. Just I want to try to get this area over here sort of in line, but also keep the bottom area sort of in line. So the middle here is pretty much level. I'm going to zoom it just a little bit more. And then if I bring in this particular clip right here, I shot this clip, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to bring in this clip. It was in the, it, whoops, it was in the same place. I don't want the audio, but I liked it better because it has this piece behind there. You see how the camera's shaking there? I'm going to, the wind was blowing just a little bit. I, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I can fix that somewhat, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Now, I also know, we talked about keeping part of this in black and white, and so I'm going to pull all of these clips in and sort of get them lined up about where I want them, and then we'll move on. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I've pulled those clips in, and I've done a preliminary cut, but this is one of the things that you can also do as well. Let's say that I decide I want to move this clip even though I've cut off part of this clip, I can still pull what's there. It's not a destructive kind of edit at this point. So I can do that. Now I want to turn all, first of all, I know that I want to put my the beginning of my discussion piece, the last clip I recorded, I want to put that under here so that you hear me talking, but you don't see me right away. So I'm going to move this up. And then I'm going to pull this last clip down. And even though it's here, you don't see it. But now if you look at the audio, the audio is recorded really, really soft. And so I'm just going to right click here. I'm going to come up here to normalize audio levels. And I'm going to normalize it to, 
to basic YouTube settings. Now watch those little peaks at the bottom there. So that automatically makes the clip louder. Now I don't need anything before I start talking, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And this is just me clearing my throat, getting my shirt together. I'm gonna to get rid of all of that. And we'll come back to this. So right now, what I wanna do is I wanna start in black and white. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to, to effects and I'm just going to put in what they call an adjustment clip. The adjustment clip will adjust anything that's under it. And so it will adjust all of these clips right here to whatever I decide I want it to be. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna come back, we're going to choose a spot here. Let's choose, well, let's just choose it here at the beginning. Let's choose this one. And I want to come down here, this little wheel right down here at the bottom, this is, this is where I adjust all the color. And there are two or three ways to get rid of the color and go with black and white. So I'm just gonna come down here to, I'm gonna come down here to sort of what they call a LUT, a lookup table. In photography, we call this a preset. And this will kind of show me what it's gonna look like if I start here. And I know that I, I kind of want it to be a little crunchy looking, a little contrasty. And I think any of these is probably gonna get what I want. So I'm just gonna pull this over. Well, in fact, before I do that, see this node right here? I'm gonna click um, Option S and create a couple of other nodes. And I'm gonna pull this over into the last one. And then I can go back to the beginning one and I can sort of make a few changes. So I'm going to increase the mid-tone detail a little bit. I'm going to pull the shadows up just a tad, not much, but I want it to be dark and shadowy. And so I'm just gonna kind of start there for now. I may come back and make some adjustments later, but we'll just see how this looks as it starts playing through the clips. Now remember, these are not the, the final length of the clips. But we'll kind of show you where I'm going. Okay, now I have this clip over here with me talking and I need a place for it to come into the video. So I'm just going to listen for a little bit. I really like coming to Booker T. Washington State Park. I rarely ever come to this part of it. Now, don't pay any attention to the video above it. I'm only listening to the audio right now. It, it is a shame to me that it is fallen into such disrepair and I'm sure there's probably a plan in place for them to change this and if you are aware of that plan feel free to put that in the comments below the building behind us here is okay so I'm going to for right now I'm going to start right here with where I want my video to come yeah. in is, I mean, it's just totally run down. Okay, but I don't want it to look like that. We talked about fading in to, from black and white. So I'm gonna pull the black and white over this, and then I'm gonna pull this corner back, and that's gonna start fading down to fade the black and white out and fade into right. color. Is, I mean, it's just totally run down. The swimming pool is empty and weeds grow and I could make that a little shorter so it happens a little faster. I want it to be at the end of that clip. Is, I mean, it's just totally run down. The swimming pool is empty and weeds growing. Now, I'm, I'm a long way away from where I am right now because I wanted that, that uh, playground equipment behind me. But I'm gonna take the zoom tool and I'm gonna zoom in here and then I'm gonna raise it up just a little. I'm gonna make sure that um, it looks more like I'm seated right in front. So you see how I'm changing it from left to right? Look at the bottom step in the, in the picture. Let me, let me set it back. 
You see how it's really low right here and then it starts rising up? That's because I'm not square. And so I want to try to square that up just a little bit. Now, I'm no longer in the middle of the screen, but I don't really think that matters because I want that playground sort of more behind me to kind of balance that out. So I'm going to pull it over here. That way you've got all this color back behind me. Now, the only other thing for me to do is to try to figure out some music to put under it. But one of the things that I'm also going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to come back over here to where I keep everything. I'm coming into sound effects and here's the birds chirping. So I'm going to pull this down. It needs to be below that clip where I'm talking. It needs to be on a different level. And I'm going to kind of bring this out a little bit. Now I know it's going to be a little louder than I want. but I want that underneath it. Now I'm going to go back into YouTube and I'm going to find a piece of music to put under it. And then at the end of this, I will play you the finished clip. So you can kind of, this would not be a complete video, but the finished clip, so you can kind of see what it looks like when I'm done. But this is the basic process that I go through. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, you can leave me comments and ask questions, whatever you want to do. Um, and we will see you tomorrow. All that stuff I normally do at the end of the video, I'm going to do right now. And here is the final finished version. I really like coming to Booker T. Washington State Park. I rarely ever come to this part of it. it. It is a shame to me that it has fallen into such disrepair. And I'm sure there's probably a plan in place for them to change this. And if you are aware of that plan, feel free to put that in the comments below. The building behind us here is is, I mean, it's just totally run down. The swimming pool is empty and weeds growing up everywhere. Even places like this little piece here that is supposed to keep you from falling off the steps, I suppose. There's not one over here. The playground behind me is, it's got yellow tape all over it to keep people off of it. And just at the bottom of the hill, is a beautiful spot where people go fishing and there's a boat ramp down there where they put their boats out in the water and there's picnic tables and places where people barbecue and those kinds of things and it's 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 picturesque and pristine but here i don't know that there's something just sad about here <laughs>